You're a writer, you said. Why? Are you or aren't you? Read it. Read the scene just before she has him killed. Never let another writer read your material. He may steal it. I'm not afraid. Read it. Max! Why not? Sometimes it's interesting to see just how bad bad writing can be. This promised to go the limit. She sat coiled up like a watch spring, her cigarette clamped in a curious holder. I could sense her eyes on me from behind those dark glasses, defying me not to like what I read. Or maybe begging me in her own proud way to like it. It meant so much to her. It sure was a cozy setup. It got to be 11. I was feeling a little sick at my stomach. What with that sweet champagne and that tripe I'd been reading. That silly hodgepodge of melodramatic plots. However, by then, I'd started concocting a little plot of my own. Well? This is fascinating. Of course it is. Maybe it's a little long, and maybe there's some repetitions, but you're not a professional writer. I wrote that with my heart. Sure you did. That's what makes it great. But it ought to be organized. Just an editing job. You can find somebody. Who? I thought if I really got going, I could toss it off in a couple of weeks. But it wasn't so simple getting some coherence into those wild hallucinations of hers. That's it. She was still sleepwalking along the giddy heights of a lost career. You really gonna send that script to DeMille? Yes, I am. This is the day. Here's a chart from my astrologer. She read DeMille's horoscope, she read mine. She read the script?